Hey, number one, let's get started with your reading. Today's reading is going to look at messages for you about where your new beginning in love is coming. Ooh, beautiful. You're starting with the sun. And you have the queen of wands. And the hierophant. Okay, beautiful. Well, I feel like the the new beginning, if you are a fire sign female, a Leo, Sag, or Aries, or if you have Aries, Leo, or Sag rising or moon, um, if you're an entrepreneur, if you really are identifying with this Queen of Wands energy, um, the new beginning is coming with you. <clears throat> if you're not, if you don't feel connected to that sort of creative artist, um, vibrant, like warm um, personality, that fire sign energy of the sun, it's very strong Leo coming through too. Um, but this is about you shining no matter what your sign. Or um, there's a female energy here that is like the person I've just described who is going to help you with this new beginning in some way. It feels like you have a new beginning coming in expressing yourself when it comes to relationship, in being authentic, and in being able to really nurture others, okay, but also really like focus on your vision, something that you really love, something that you've really wanted to do. This new beginning could also come through a Taurus, someone who is very traditional. Um, this could also involve marriage, okay? So for those of you that are in a connection and, um, you know, have struggled in terms of making that full commitment, if you and your partner have struggled, um, this is showing me that you do have the opportunity here in the future position for a ceremony of some sort. So it could be a marriage. Um, this also shows me that there's something that you're going to um, get advice about that's going to really help you when it comes to love. I feel like that could be the key here. This new beginning could be coming about um, because you get advice from someone who's very trusted, somebody who's very wise, somebody who could be um, a Taurus sun, moon, or rising. They don't have to be. But yeah, I see the new beginning here in terms of fun and joy and creativity, um, children even, but it's about stepping into that power of the queen of wands and really being like confident. I see you being confident. Okay. Ooh, I love this. Okay. Let's see if we can get any more details about this before we move on. Okay, um, the seven of wands reversed. So here you see kind of, um, it almost looks like two weavers kind of <laughs> struggling, almost fighting over this, being protected maybe over what they have. I feel like with this reverse, it's almost like you're going to be in um a better partnership. You're going to be in a connection with someone where there's cooperation, not competition. Those are the words that keep coming through. Cooperation, not competition. Wow, all fire. Okay, you have the Sun card, you have the Queen of Wands, the Seven of Wands, and now you have the Five of Wands reversed, which is cooperation, not competition. The Five of Wands, the Five of Wands can be competition, but when it's reversed, it's cooperation. Wow. So I think you have a new beginning coming. You might have this new beginning coming with a fire sign, or if you're a fire sign, you might have this new beginning coming with a Taurus, okay? Or someone who you viewed as... Um, as uh, very traditional, 
okay? Somebody who's very respected. I feel like you have some sort of new beginning, but it definitely feels like moving into a partnership here and it feels like it could end up being uh, long-term and there's some sort of new beginning that comes about because of um, being able to have fun, be joyful, creative, um, to really express yourself in partnerships. That's what it feels like to me, okay? Um, Let's see what the moon cards have for you. This is a new moon, so we're looking at new beginnings. Let's see if the moon cards have any advice for you about this new beginning. We have a lot of fire here. Leo, Sag, Aries with a focus on Leo and Taurus. So your messages could involve people with those signs as well as yourself if you're one of those. Ooh, expect powerful change eclipse and it's new moon eclipse. So um, the eclipse season's coming up in the fall. And what I feel like is that you are going to have a fresh start. You know, eclipses are also times of releasing, right? Because it's new beginnings and ending. So it's like something has to be, you have to let go of something in, in order to move forward. And I feel like for you, you're going to be letting, letting go of like the petty stuff, letting go of, um, letting go of also, I, I really, I know this sounds weird, but I almost feel like letting go of dating. I feel like this is just more focused on like long-term relationships coming up for you. Um, but yeah, because like you're letting go of this stick here, you're letting go of the battle. This is letting go of the battle. The Queen of Wands upright is so powerful. It's like maybe you have struggled to show yourself and to be really honest in connections. Maybe you've hidden your talents or maybe you've um, not shined as much as you could. And I feel like that's what's changing. Okay, let's see what the angel message for today is about this new beginning for you. What is the new moon message? Whoa, <laughs> the sun. So you've got the sun twice. Wow. Content with life, joy, rebirth, great self-esteem, pride, and self-expression. Yes, and that is so much the queen of wands, the, the word pride there. There's a lot of Leo energy associated with the sun. Um, but yeah, this is about having fun. This is about being joyful. This is about connecting back to your own self-worth, to your pride, to doing something you're really proud of, to being joyful. Like even um, for some of you, this does connect to children because the sun is related to the fifth house in astrology with Jules' children. And in this deck, you see the queen has two little kittens. Okay, she's a cat with two kittens. Um, so yeah, this is about having fun. This is about being joyful. The message of the sun is really important for you today. So that can be a Leo. This can be about self-expression, about joy. And your new beginning is, I believe, coming with yourself. Okay, it's, it's about you. Wow beautiful. Okay, now I'm going to use the Aphrodite deck today to see if there are any additional messages about love for you and this new beginning. What do you need today? Okay. Wow. Okay, so anyone who's had an obsession or a serial dater, a stalker, someone who's toxic, um, anyone who's been connected to sort of obsessive love, that's definitely letting go. Um, that that energy is going away, okay? Because you have that, that seven of wands could represent for some of you. Let me pull that one out again. Um, you know, this isn't for everyone, but it might be for some of you. 
um, either you could have been really obsessed about someone or someone could have had an obsession with you, um, you know, not letting go. Okay. So, but this is reverse. So it is letting go. It's letting go of that obsession. So that's a really positive thing because we know obsession isn't great. Um, yeah. And the serial dater thing's interesting. So somebody that can never commit, you know, somebody that, um, you know, just is constantly changing partners. I see that changing here for some of you, if that's you, um, or if you've been with people like that, that just aren't interested in um, more of a traditional situation with the Hierophant, you have, you have that, you have the keys. Now, what's interesting is the Hierophant is a five. We have the five of wands. That's that shift and change. Okay. That's interesting. Okay. I'm sorry. No, the camera. Let's see what else. Okay, I guess all of these wanted to come out. Ooh, okay, we have lust, desire, reckless, fickle, obsession again. There's lust first and love. So some of you really have had some situation with someone who's obsessed. We have the word obsession twice here, okay? That's changing. We also have Cupid, Aphrodite's son. Aphrodite's son, and you have with the sun card, I mean, with the queen of wands card member, she's holding a little kitten. And we said children, that Leo expression, um, Aphrodite's son, affection, protector, love messages, arrows. Arrows are those wands. That's more of that fire sign energy, which represents messages, communications, um, inspiration, creativity, passion. Love is coming from far away. Also travel and foreign people and places. Okay, so some of you might be getting a message soon from someone at a distance. And you have goose, Aphrodite's bird, celebration, party, indulgence, selfishness, number 20. Put your needs first. Yes. Okay. This is a really important one with your reading today because the sun is about you. Remember I said, I feel like the new beginning is coming with you when it comes to relationships and it starts with you. Okay. It's about you. It's about how you shine. It's about you stepping forward, you being that beautiful queen of wands energy. Okay, that's putting your needs first. There is nothing negative about that. That is really positive. And you had the sun message twice. So that's an that's you know the universe telling you this is this is look at over here, the sun, the sun. That's the important message. You might even want to go online and just look up, you know, what the sun card meaning is and read different readings um, just to see if any of that really resonates, because for you today, that's a really strong message. Okay. Now let's get your, your moon message. Since this is a new moon, we want to know one final. We have the eclipse message to start with, and now we want advice, any final messages from the moon. Anything you need to release, anything you need to know, anything going forward with love. Final message. Wow. Oh my God. You got a new start is coming, new moon. Oh my God, I feel like crying. Today's the new moon and this is the new re moon reading. And you've gotten such a strong message about new moon um, and about fresh starts. Eclipses happen, right, when the sun and the moon go in alignment. A new moon eclipse happens at the new moon. And here you have the new moon and the sun and the eclipse card. So I do feel like this is a really important new moon for you, number one. I feel like you can expect powerful change. And I feel like the powerful change is around you, putting your needs first. And it ultimately will connect you with someone who's going to appreciate that and someone who could be a Taurus, someone who is going to be a really great long-term partner. So there's big change coming.
Wow, this is literally a new, a new moon reading right here. Okay, beautiful. Now, let me roll the astro dice, see if there's any other final messages from the astro dice. Okay, you have Uranus, unexpected change, Taurus, the Hierophant. Okay, there's the Taurus energy and the second house. The second house is your values. It's, it's, it could be connected to this, okay, to the, to the Hierophant energy. It could be what you value. It can also be the money you earn and the things you own, okay? So there could be a message here about a new beginning too, um, something unexpected when it comes to money that you earn, um, your salary, um, the things you value, the things you own. I'm also feeling like there's a message here about jewelry, okay? So, because Taurus is connected to jewels, um, I'm looking at the, the Hierophant here, and I'm seeing more of like the crown and the king jewels. I saw the queen, so I'm just feeling like for some of you, there's an engagement, and it's unexpected, okay? Yay! Okay, let's do charms today. I feel like doing charms. Let's get a chart reading. Okay, you have, ooh, the fancy dog. So this is someone who's very, like dogs are your best friend. They're very loyal. Um, but this is the fancy one. This is, this is the rich dog. <laughs> okay. So again, there could be something about something fancy about money. This is a poodle. This is a show dog. Wow. Um, you have Santa Claus. Santa Claus brings surprises with Uranus, the planet of the unexpected. There's some surprise coming, change coming. You, you have accept, expect powerful change, new moon eclipse, okay? Um, you have the protective dream catcher, which is protection, but also dreams coming true. Something about dreams, because you have the sheep too, which is dreaming, right? Sleeping. So dreams coming true. And you have the beautiful Aphrodite shell, which is, um, this is a symbol of Aphrodite and a message about true love. So love is definitely part of this. Ooh, I love it. That's your reading today. Please let me know what you thought. Write your comments below. Let me know if you're really relating to this and how. Do you have something? Did you need to, did you have an obsessive uh, connection. Please let me know that. Also, do you feel this need to step into your own joy and your own power? Are you a fire sign? Do you have a connection with a Taurus? I would love to hear all of that. Um, and like this video and subscribe to my channel. If you haven't yet, just click the buttons. It's so easy and it's free. And if you want to watch August monthly and get love messages about August for my members only, hit the join button and become a member of the Aphrodite Circle. And that's where I give extra readings, okay? I'm sending so much love and I'm happy new moon. I'll see you soon. Hey, number two, let's see what messages the universe has for you about a new beginning when it comes to love. You have the Three of Cups, the Six of Cups, which is the Lover's card. Ooh. Ah, and the Knight of Cups. Oh my gosh, how beautiful. Okay, so obviously we're dealing with a lot of water energy here. Water energy in the tarot is about emotions. It's about sensitivity. It's about feelings. Okay, so there's a lot changing here. And there's a new beginning around your feelings, about your romantic connections, your heart connections, how you're how you're really opening up emotionally, okay? What I see here is a new beginning around friendships and around celebrations. This could involve female energy. Um, it could also involve uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio signs, all of this. This whole reading can um, involve Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising signs. Um, those are the water signs in astrology. Those are the signs that are connected to the emotional realm. 
But yeah, this is a big new beginning, a change when it comes to friendship, when it comes to celebration. Um, there's going to be something to celebrate or there's going to be a new beginning when it comes to friendships and fun. Maybe you haven't been having that much fun. Maybe you haven't been going out that much or doing, you know, many things together with friends. I feel like there's a new beginning there. Okay. Um, also a new beginning coming with a new partner or with a person you're with now could start because of friends. Okay. So in other words, friends could introduce you or you could be out with friends. Um, but right here in the center, you have the lover's card. This is about a partnership. This is about a choice. This is about, um, love. This is about a relationship, somebody who you really connect with in a deep, deep level. Okay. Um, this person's definitely giving me Pisces vibes or cancer vibes. Um, they feel like someone who's had feelings for you for a while or someone who you've had feelings for a while or that there is a lot of emotion between the two of you and it's almost like it overflows, right? It just bubbles up. There's like something bubbling up. And so um, it could be that something that starts as a partnership Okay, someone that maybe you work with or is a partner in some way, then turns into this romantic connection. Okay, because the feelings just bubble over. I just see this as so beautiful. Okay, I think this person really sort of mirrors you and is very similar to you. So if you have water sign, if you're a Cancer Pisces Scorpio, I feel like they definitely meet you in that emotional space. Okay. Um, but yeah, this is big. This is big heart stuff, big love stuff. Wow. Okay. Um, let's see if we can get any more details about this connection before I move on to the moon messages. Okay, so we have another six, the six of pentacles. And in this case, it's about sharing and it's a group of people bringing different things to the table. Um, and that goes along with that three of cups. I'm definitely feeling this energy of sharing in some sort of happiness. Like there could be a celebration, there could be a wedding, there could be an engagement party. This could be a party at friend's house. Um, this could be you celebrating with your friends because you're getting married, you're getting engaged. Um, but yes, this again, this could be love coming to you because of friends, because of doing something together, working together, uh, going out after work going out after work with friends definitely is could be the way that you connect with this but it also for those of you that are in a connection it could be you celebrating um celebrating your relationship celebrating a marriage an engagement celebrating this love it could definitely be a celebration that leads to a partnership to like being out with your friends okay so um, I feel like the one warning you want here is to be careful about um, letting past situations um, affect the present, okay? So if there's something, I feel like there's something about this person or this partner that reminds you in some way, or ha they have something in similar to, to an ex or to someone you thought was going to be your forever person. And you have to separate that. Okay. Yeah. You have to separate that because you have to, you have to remain balanced. Okay. This is temperance. Um, and look at this. It's also the two of cups. I love this. This is about being balanced. This is about keeping things on an even keel. Yeah. <laughs> look at this. It's all about balance, balance, balance. Um, 
twos, threes, and sixes here for your reading. So we have a lot about relationships. We have about a lot about balancing, and we have a lot about choices. Um, so yeah, I feel like you're going to have to really tap into your inner high priestess, okay, and really balance your like your head and your heart, okay. I really feel like that's what it comes down to because you have this new beginning coming, you have this opportunity coming with this person and you can't let the past um, influence it. You have to really trust your intuition, right? Just trust yourself and um, take things slow because there's so much emotion that you don't want to get carried away or you don't want to overreact. That's the, that's the only sort of kind of warning I see here. But otherwise, I think you have a beautiful new beginning coming. I think you need to trust yourself. I think you have someone who's really, really meant for you. And it's um, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio, as well as there's some Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Let's see what messages come through from Aphrodite about this partner. Ah, fig tree, Aphrodite's tree, family, support, friends. There's the friends word, the three of cups. Okay, right there. Help. Number 19, you will be supported. Yes, you definitely have support from family and friends and especially friends in this reading. So talk to them, share what you're feeling. I feel like they are going to be very helpful. They can also connect you with this person or be the reason that you connect with this person. Oh, okay. So here we go. This is what I was talking about, okay? I said don't let the past, don't let anything else sort of interfere with it, okay? You could have a jealous ex. You could have... Um, somebody who's insecure, somebody who's gossipy, somebody who's kind of bringing this situation down, which is why I said, don't let that happen. Tap into that inner high priestess, keep things balanced, okay? Because there's so much potential here. You don't want to let that happen. So that's a warning. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. You have the lover's card and you have the diamond. Aphrodite's gemstone. Tough, clear, brilliant, pure. Number 52. The bond between you is unbreakable. So <clears throat> this could be the celebration. It could be an engagement. There's a new beginning coming for you when it comes to long-term relationships. Um, and you really have to trust it. Trust in yourself and trust in it. Okay. Let's see what message the moonology has. Because this is a new moon and a new beginning, we want to get a message from the moon oracle. Ooh, don't let pride get in your way, full moon in Leo. It's so funny because I didn't say it, and I really wish I had. Because then you'd be like, wow. Um, and that makes me crazy when I don't say things. But right at the beginning of the reading, and then I forgot to say it, I wanted to say, if you are a Leo, you might want to listen to number one's reading because it was very Leo-centric. And I didn't say it because I thought, well, there's all these water, you know, the, the, all the cards turned out to be all water. So mm, I'll just keep going. And I forgot about it. Um, but it, look who shows up. So it might have just been a premonition about this Leo card. Um, but it, it could be that you need to listen to one. I don't know. But I'm just going to say it now because Leo came out to remind me. Don't let pride get in your way, full moon and Leo. That, like, again, that's what I'm saying here about the jealousy or the insecure or um, that past, like, feeling like you're what you wanted, your happily ever after didn't happen, or some other ex or some other past hurts or issues could block. So you just want to be careful of that, okay? That's definitely an important message for you to hear today. Now, I'm going to pull you an angel message from the angel tarot. And this is a major arcana, kind of an overall, what you need to know about this new beginning. 
the hanged man. View the situation from a different perspective. Surrender to the situation. Nothing will be achieved otherwise. Oh my gosh. You have to not let pride get in your way. Don't let insecurity control or gossip. This is such a great connection. You're going to, and the hangman's also Pisces energy. Oh my God, it's a Pisces card. And we have the fish here. Look at this with the Knight of Cups. Um, yeah, don't. You're going to have to step back, which is also temperance, and take that moment and view the situation from a different perspective. So for some of you, this can be um, a new beginning with um, a person that you may, you know, have already been through something with and had some disappointment with, which could be that nine of cups. Um, if, if you have been in a relationship with this person who's a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, someone who you thought there was so much per, per, um, potential with, and then things went wrong, you might get a new beginning with them. You might see them when you're out with friends. You might be invited to something. Um, this is about them being willing to make amends and don't let pride get in your way. So that's important if that's your situation, okay? If you're completely single, then, as I said, you could meet this person because of friends or be out with, with friends or at a celebration or at a party. Don't let your past situation dictate the present, okay? Because this is a different situation now. This is a fresh start and a new beginning, whether it's an ex, whether it's someone you're still working things out with, or if it's someone completely new, okay? Oh, these readings have been amazing. I knew I needed to do a new moon reading. And by the way, it's the new moon in Leo. So we have this Leo energy coming through twice. The Leo energy wants to roar in today because it's the new moon in Leo. I love that. Okay, so you have Taurus. There's the moon card and the 12th house. So that's past stuff. Don't let past stuff get in the way of the present. Moon is your emotions. And Taurus could be stubborn energy, okay? It could be also um, connected to the family and friends, okay? So that is your dice. Let's see what we have from the charms. You have the moon again, right? So much water energy, but also can be cancer, uh, the sign of cancer. You have the stocking, which is uh, surprises, presents, Christmas time. Um, this is having fun. This is also like water, a duck playing in the water. There's so much water energy. And, and look, the feelings are bubbling over here right? And that could also be that past connection because Pisces is connected to the 12th house. Okay. So interesting. You have the penny. That's a new beginning. That's a fresh start. Um, and you have the elephant. That's a connection to family and to female energy. With the three of cups, you have the female energy. So this could be si si sisters, cousins, aunt, mom, grandma, um, but a strong matriarchal family. Someone has a very strong female energy around them. Could be you. It could be this person coming in. I feel like for a lot of you, it's you. Okay, that's your reading for the new moon. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought. Write all your comments below if you're really connecting. Um, and like this video and subscribe to my channel. It's just the hit. All you do is hit a button and it's free and it really helps me. So if you want to say thank you, that's a free way to do it. If you want to say thank you, you can join the Aphrodite Circle. And that's a good way to leave me a tip. You can also, if you do that, get bonus readings every month. I just did in August, so everyone will get their August messages. That is part of the Aphrodite Circle, and I, I think you would really enjoy it. So check it out. I am sending you so much love, and I'll talk to you soon. Have a great one. Hey, number three, let's get started on your reading about what new beginning you have coming for this new moon. We're starting with the Five of Cups and the Seven of Cups and the Ace of Wands and the Strength card. In this deck, it's the Strength card. It is reversed. Okay.
So what I see here is a new beginning coming in terms of you feeling strong and feeling inspired, okay? Feeling connected. Um, this, with this, we have sorrow, the five of cups. This is a sadness. Something happened that has left you feeling, um, you know, grieving, the loss, uh, you know, some sort of loss. Um, and I think there's a new beginning around this. I think the new beginning is you seeing new options, okay? Because we have the Seven of Cups, the Seven of Cups is about, you know, sort of having a lot of choices. Some are good, some are bad, but it's like trying different things, you know? I feel like you have a new beginning in love because you're going to try out lots of new things. I feel like you also were having a new beginning in relationships that are balanced, okay, and in feeling strong in yourself. If you've been feeling weak, like mentally or physically, or if you've just been down or depressed about love, I feel like you have a new beginning coming where you're going to have more choices, where you're going to feel like there are more options for you, okay? But let's see what those options could be. Let's pull some more cards and find out what they could be. Okay, number three. Oh, look at that. The Ten of Pentacles. Um, so you have options coming that are going to really support you. This is like a strong family. This is a future of stability. This is like happiness, being supported emotionally and physically. Um, this could be connected to buying a home. This could be connected to getting married, having a long-term connection, having people around you that support you. This person could be someone that comes from a very strong family or someone who has like a family business, um, lots of financial support. They could have like, you know, kind of wealth from their family. Oh, and look at that. You've got the Ace of Cups. So you're going from sorrow with the Five of Cups to joy, to, to being open to the gift of the universe of love. This is a new beginning. This is the new beginning in love card and you got it. So you're really moving towards someone who's coming in with their heart open, who wants a relationship, who's emotionally available, um, potentially someone who is a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Earth and Water energy. This is a new offering. This is a new person. This isn't someone you've, de you've dealt with before. Um, this is someone who's giving you their heart. Oh my gosh, I love it. So this is you being fulfilled emotionally. This is you getting another chance at love. Yeah, and I feel like if you've been feeling stuck, if you've been feeling like you couldn't move on from whatever this this disappointment, the sorrow and relationship, that's coming to an end, okay? You're going to be able to move on from it, whatever that disappointment was. Oh, I love it. Okay. Um, let's get messages from Aphrodite here about this love energy, this new love coming in for you. Apples, Aphrodite's fruit, nourishment, health, wellness, gut check, take time in nature. Yes. So the health and wellness is the strength card reversed here and that five of cups mentally and physically. Like I said, there's something, a new beginning coming for you in terms of your mental health, in terms of like not feeling depressed, in terms of, um, you know, feeling, feeling healthy physically, but also mentally. So getting time out in nature would be really good for you. Um, I also think about that apple's fruit, like that healthy relationship with someone who's got a strong family tree. Okay, shells, trinkets, small things, beach, water, healing. Number 42, this will be healing for you. Yes. You have the Five of Cups, which is that heartbreak, and you have the Ace of Cups. You have healing coming. You have a new beginning that's going to bring healing into your life, okay? And mirror, self-reflection, 
reflection, meditation, self-care. Number 11, the answers you seek are within that seven of cups energy. Um, this is a big new beginning for you where you're going to really be able to heal from a past trauma or sadness or loss, where you're going to focus on yourself and that healing and love is coming in that's going to help you with that healing. So, wow, you have a new beginning when it comes to this. Okay, let's see what, since this is a new moon, I thought I would pull a moon card for you. Any messages from the moon? Balance, spirituality, and practicality. Look at those beautiful fish, which is full moon in Pisces. Pisces is the sign of healing. And full moon in Pisces happens during Virgo season, which is Virgo's connected to healing, health, and wellness, which could be that 10 of pentacles as well. So you have a lot of messages here about this new beginning coming for you in terms of balancing your emotions in healing, balance with the strength card, balance with your emotions, that sorrow card, having the ace of cups coming in, the wellness and health here, the healing here, and the healing and balance here of Pisces. So Pisces is that water sign. It's connected to the Ace of Cups, to that new love energy. This person could be a Pisces. We also have shells and trinkets, which is like the beach. And Pisces is that water energy, that Neptune. Um, so there could be something about a beach, about a vacation, about healing here, about meeting someone who's a Pisces or meeting somebody who helps you heal. Wow. Okay, so now for the Angel Tarot. You have the Star card. Inner healing. Oh my gosh. Inner healing. End of a difficult time. Finding faith in life again. Balancing spirituality. Having faith. Yes. Okay, this is really big. So you are connecting with your purpose, the star card. You're finding that balance. You're finding that healing, that joy. You're going from that sorrow to really getting, trying different things, to connecting with someone who really brings you that strength and that balance back into your life. Because we have balance here and the strength card reversed is an imbalance and you're correcting that imbalance. Wow. That is so beautiful. Okay. I apologize if there's noise in the background. Someone turned something on and it's really loud and I apologize. <laughs> okay. Let's see what the dice have for you. You have Sagittarius, seventh house, sun. Okay. So this is about a, a long-term partner. This could be someone that is coming from a distance or connected to Sagittarius energy. The sun is your strength. That's you getting your strength back. I really feel that. Okay, now for the charm. Let's see what messages the charms have. Okay, look at this. This is a healing message. This is about taking care of your body. So yeah, that's a big, important message here. You have the owl, which can be connected to Capricorn energy, to someone older, to um, the stability, security, to wisdom. You have the artist palette. Some of you might be artists or connect with art in some way. Here's the angel wings of protection. Lots of messages here about protection. The peace sign, finding peace and balance in relationship. And the elephant, which is connected to female family energy, the matriarchy. Um, there could be female energy around you that is protective. But yeah, this one, the fish like this, and here we have the Pisces energy, is about you really focusing on that health and wellness. Okay, look at that. So this is about you getting your health back. Wow, that is really beautiful. 
that is your message for today. I hope you enjoyed it. It feels like it was really important. Um, please write all your comments below and let me know how you connect with this. If you've been going through this, I would love to hear it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the join button. It's free. That's how you can give back to me and say thanks for the reading today. You can also join the Aphrodite Circle by hitting join. That's another way to say thanks. Once you make your payment, you'll have access to all my bonus readings, including my August monthly. So go ahead and check that out. Um, I am sending you so much love and healing. I'll talk to you soon. Take care.